baptism, marriage, and especially the Eucharist. But because of the incarnation, there is nothing that doesn't have a mystery, a mystery attached to it. All, all of our, you know, from conception to death, is embraced by the mystery of God because God became man. So this is why, as we relearn our our our, our way back to, to paradise. It's through this uh, St. Paul's statement that it's his, the fellowship of, of Christ's sufferings where, where we participate in the, in the fellowship. So we are suffering, and suffering is inevitably leading to death. But we want our sufferings to conform to his death. And then it can be a joyful suffering. A, a, a joyful sorrow. And of course, this is another aspect of this mystery is, is, is our repentance, our continual. We, we never, as Orthodox, we never tire of saying, Lord, have mercy. I mean, the very, the very fundamental, most fundamental incarnational prayer is the Jesus prayer. So we have uh, God becoming man, Jesus Christ, or Jesus Christ, Lord, who is the Lord of the Old Testament, who created us, identified as Jesus Christ, the Son of God, have mercy, which is the very nature of what God, who God is, on me, it's, now it's back to the particularity, a sinner. The, the reason why I need mercy. And then the other is this is this notion of reconciliation. So this rebuilding the web of our relationship. And just to quote at the, the end of this Metropolitan Anthony, Anthony Bloom says, one cannot enter into eternity tied and fettered by hatred. One of the most moving experiences I've had is when I was an early Early in my experience as an Orthodox Christian. One of the one of the elderly uh, uh, people in our in our parish. Unfortunately, was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of cancer. And he had survived. Uh, he was a young man during the time that the Nazis invaded uh, the, the Soviet Union. And he, had, he was a Ukrainian and he had survived all that and made it to the United States. And then had had a full life. But he was suffering with this cancer. 
And and it was he, he was given some kind of a sense of his time because he came and he, he struggled, but he, he insisted on walking up to receive communion. Și deși suferea foarte mult, el insista și vroia, vroia foarte mult să, să fie împărtășit. He wanted to come with the liturgy. Vroia să vină la liturgie. To, to do this, to say goodbye. Pentru a face asta, să And he, sta he, he stopped as he was coming. Și s-a oprit în timp ce mergea. And then he bowed in all directions to the, all the rest of us. It was... Și apoi a făcut mai multe plecăciuni în fața celor care erau în misterică. He was dead within a week. Și a murit în, în după o săptămână. But we were, uh, we shared the common cup, you know, that it was... Dar uh, ei au împărțit uh, potirul. Yeah, an orthodox death. Uh, și a făcut parte de o moartă. <laughs> And so this is this, this mystery of... of Um, how often does our heart burn with us? I mean, you know, this is the... Este taină care uh, se referă la cât de des uh, inima noastră cumva arde în noi și în interiorul nostru. And so, so when we when we were in this, uh, when I when I came in, I, I came in late uh, to the service. Yeah. And I can understand parts of parts of the. But the. But the. Uh, the non the non. What do I say? The non rational parts of the service. The 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 way you chant the, the way the the way the the the, the way people stood the. The, the, the whole experience was uh, was in immediate because uh, we had got caught in traffic and, and it was it was stressful and but but I think within I don't know 30 seconds all of that was gone. Și totuși au fost aspectele acestea neraționale, de exemplu, modul în care stăteam în biserică, cum ne rugam, cântam, deși fusese prins în trafic și da, But if any one of you hadn't been here, it would have been different. So you, you wove a beautiful web. So remember the, the good thief. The, He, he stole. He stole paradise. <laughs> so we have, you know, as Christians, um, we 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 have to be anchored in, in this certainty about death. You know, that, that, that God it has conquered death. Ca și creștini trebuie să ne ancorăm în această siguranță pe care o avem că moartea a fost It doesn't. It doesn't take away the fear of separation, of the loss, the pain. But we should not be afraid of death itself. Death has been. Uh, the, the cross is a, is like a spear, and it's it put a mortal wound into death. <coughs> So, how do we respond to the deaths of others? Well, it's it's a preparation. It's, we, we can witness and learn. It's like a dress rehearsal. And so this is another beautiful quote from Metropolitan Anthony. What he's saying. What he's trying to say, uh, and he says it very beautifully, is that that the more losses we have. Uh, 
My father is 91 years old. And, and most of his, a lot of his comrades, his friends are dead. And appropriately, he's living more and more in, in, the, in that other place. He's, he's sort of between. And, and so we, we have the same sense that we, we haven't lost them. The, the door will be open and we will see them. Again. Now part of if if we're given, and this is a blessing, if, it's hard to say that this is a blessing, but if we're given knowledge of, of our coming death. Even if it's even if it's cancer. I would much prefer that than having the bomb drop on me. <laughs> because we want we want uh, to at the dying also grieve. Because they, they lose if if I became ill now and I was going to die in the next few months. I would I would lose my job. I would never be probably be able to come back to Romania. I would eventually become uh, so weak that I, I wouldn't be able to enjoy my the food that I like. All of the things that we take for granted that are joys, small joys in life. I would gradually become more and more dependent on other people. And, and each one of those are losses, each of those are deaths. And I would come to a point if I could still think. That I would be like, I would be like I was as a baby. And, and because I am, I am about to be born again into a new into the, into the new life, into, into the real life. Because this life is the. Um, the preface to the story. <coughs> but a very important preface. So again, Metropolitan and Anthony, um, this is a really important, I think, distinction he makes. We have no right, if we are Christ's own people, to allow ourselves to overlook the birth into eternity of the departing one because we ourselves are so deeply wounded by our bereavement and overcome by our earthly loneliness. There is in death a power of life that reaches out to us. Deoarece noi înșine suntem atât de adânc răniți de suferința noastră și copleșiți de singurătatea de pe pământ. Există în moarte o putere a vieții care ne, ne ajunge, care ajunge până la noi. Ne so we are sore, are sad, but also joyful. So, we, we usually think about St. Athanasius' comment that, that God became man so that man could become God. But St. Ephraim also says this in a different way. So that the incarnation of Christ reverses our loss. 
lui Hristos să schimbă pierderea, întoarce pierderea noastră. So now we see the full icon of the Mother of God, the Aroslava Mother. Aici vedem icoana întreagă a mașinului. And here is the icon of the sign. Și este icoana semnului. Of the sign, the 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 incarnation of Christ is is still within her, but he's also ruling the universe. You can see that he's got the. It doesn't look like a baby exactly. It looks like an old man as a baby, and and she has the sorrow, but there's also great joy that mixed together. The Christos yes, the Nia, she Christos brings the whole world, because Mântuitorul nu are chipul unui bebelaș, ci chipul unui om matur. La fel cum pe chipul Maicii Domnului vedem anumită tristețe, dar și bucurie. He gave us divinity. We, through Mary, gave us gave him humanity. El, Dumnezeu, ne-a dat nouă Dumnezeia, iar noi i-am dat prin Fecioara Maria omenirea. Thank you so much for all your... Thank you very much. You're patient listening. Any questions or comments? Any of you working on rebuilding your webs? <laughs> But thank you, thank you for coming. How how is the situation in the USA? The situation in your country. You mean in terms of specifically? I've heard that in the USA the population it's it's very it's controlled you know, very at a, at a very high level and. Yes, for example, if you want to live, uh, if, if I want to travel to America, I need uh, some ID, some identification card that has, a, I think it has a microchip. It has a microchip. Uh, I don't know. Do you need a passport or what? Do you need to I think travel? you just have your Romanian passport. Okay. Okay. And a visa. Yeah. Yes, and does that document have a mic microchip or something? I don't know. It does. I think it they would if they're if they're really interested. If they're really interested in if you're wanting to travel to Syria right now. Yes, but <laughs> it has a microchip, and what I wanted to say is that that microchip is at his base. If you want to hold that microchip, or it's six six six, and here we come to a, a very I don't know, important point or if as a Christian that act is it's your identity, like right? it's your name, it's your everything about you, almost everything. And next to it is that microchip, that six six six, and you sign for it and it's like you say yes, I agree. As and as a Christian I I don't think I think this is like uh da, de exemplu, că da, chipul ăla are 666 și cumva dacă ați auzit de Justin Bieber, ce spune Justin Bieber? Toate actele astea electronice care sunt acum în microchip și 666 Spre megafare, pe ce ții la asta? Asta nu spre asta e la vorba. So he's very much concerned about all these documents that might contain this number 666. So, I don't know about the documents, but I share your concern about our culture. But it's a common culture. I've been coming to Romania now for 10 years. So I was coming before you joined the European Union and after. And, and the, there is a tsunami, a, a huge uh, tidal wave of, of, uh, of, it, of information, of, of the media, 
uh, and it's very subtle. I don't think it's it's it, it's um, uh, it, it's not it's not obvious. Uh, I think to most of us, but but the problem is is that we we live in a world that where we're striving to be faithful Christians, and at the same time, we we all we there's a there's a secular religion that is here all around us. And, and the secular religion uh, is, is focused on, on the other side of the materialist coin. So the, the communists had, had one side of it, and then, the, and then the Western materialists are more subtle. They, they, they will offer you pleasure, power, uh, but it's still a matter of, of, of basically a, of, of, of tempting us away from from our relationship with God, of wanting to tear away those that the relationship there. So there is no place. I mean, this is what the incarnation tells us that there is no place where God is not. They, he, he, he became a uh, human baby from conception until until death. He entered the state of death, transforming death. And and so if if this, if if there's an evil microchip or whatever, God can over con can conquer all. Consider că de fapt sunt niște lucruri pe care atât America cât și România le are în comun. Vine în România de peste 10 ani și a observat că de fapt există cam aceleași probleme. Este o luptă între dorința noastră de a rămâne în credință, de a lupta și religia aceasta sau credința secularizantă care uh, îi cuprinde pe tot mai mulți oameni, dar ideea e că noi știm că Dumnezeu e peste tot și chiar dacă există sau vor exista aceste carturi, nu este ceva ce Dumnezeu să nu poate să o învingă sau... Deci nu, nu vede ca pe un pericol chestia asta sau... So you don't see it as a danger. I see danger everywhere. I, want, I made a mistake today. No, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that there's good mixed with evil. We, we don't, so for example, I mean, it's, it's almost impossible, I think, for anybody to do scholarly work now without using the internet. De exemplu, acum este aproape imposibil să facem o cercetare academică fără să folosim internetul. But you don't have to go to America to find 666. It's there, you know. <laughs> you can get on the internet and get into trouble. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, it's, we are confronted with these challenges, so, so we have to constantly remind ourselves about you know, what it means to render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and unto God what is God. Noi ne confruntăm permanent cu astfel de provocări, dar trebuie să vedem întotdeauna cine-i unde-i bună încălțime. Dar mai spun la voi, știu. Deci dacă tehnologia evoluează la nivelul la care evoluează acum, îți scadru peste tot. Acum totul se întâmplă cu mai multe electroni. De exemplu, țări în care bani cash, la practic, nu mai ies. Adică se folosește doar un motor la sfârșit de la astfel din tranzacții, sfăcuri la încheși, mai multe electronic. Și să le, să le întreb, adică după cardurile astea și tot, adică totul de gine electronic, ce urmează după asta? După So what's next? Having in mind? No, I think I think we could wake up one morning and and, and we would uh, have as much control over our lives as as, as the communists worked so hard to do uh, more with a blunt in instrument. I mean, now it can be much more subtle. <laughs> But there are a lot of forces at work. I mean, there, there are a lot of contending forces. 
One of the great uh, duhovniks from the communist time, uh, Father Roman Braga, is, is in a monastery near where I live in, in the United States. And he, he's, he, he told me uh, a few years ago, he said that the, the next great persecution is going to come through Islam. I mean, you could, you could maybe when you're old, maybe when most of the people here are quite old, but within another generation, it's quite possible that a large part of Western Europe will be controlled through the ballot box, through voting, uh, by uh, and may and may have uh, Sharia law, um, maybe Islamic, Germany, Holland. Poate nu neapărat noi o fi generații mai în vârstă, dar cei care o urmează să vină, s-ar putea să fie într-un fel trăiască într-o Europa, să trăiască de Islam. Da, și prin vot să se întâmplă. So we don't know what kind of form this kind of control could take. I mean, it could be... Nu știu ce formă va putea să... ce formă să va putea manifesta acest control. But since I've been traveling, there, there are, there are, there are you know, Christian martyrs that died in Libya, Coptic Christians that were murdered by ISIS. And there are more. I mean, so, so we have subtle temptations through the internet. We have, we have unelected uh, uh, elite groups. That, that want to control. And then we have ones that will do it by force. You know? So, you know, the devil is smart. I mean, he has options. He's got lots of different ways. Actually, we're talking about the internet. We're talking about the it's not that much about the internet, but more about our identity, like, since it's all these cards. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's it. I mean, the technology will be there. That's the technology. Yeah, and if 666 is going to be like this, so we don't need to nu cercetăm niște lucruri care implică simbolul ăsta sau să luăm un viață de viață, am vrut să spun. Și dacă ei creștini mă tot ăsta, trebuie să le interesezi de lucrurile astea. Știu, dar astea... Știu, dar astea... Avea scuzați, dacă v-am... Eu am o întrebare și acum zis, dar o întrebare legată de temă, totuși... Și anume... Că în creștinism, sau creștinismul ne oferă anumite soluții suferinței și le-ați prezentat foarte frumos. Și so, nu știu cum o să uh, uh, Christianity offers us some solutions to suffering. No? Da. Uh, ce se întâmplă sau încotro se îndreaptă societatea seculară care propune ca și soluție suferinței De exemplu, eutanasia umană. So, which way is the, is the secular society heading to? Since so one of the solutions it proposes is the... Da, deci știm că există țări în Europa, patru dintre ele, care au legalizat eutanasia și de asemenea state în America. So, there are already four states. Five states, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So the so the, the technical distinction is between physician assisted suicide and euthanasia. Uh, physician assisted suicide, the physician writes a prescription for a lethal medication, of, and then a volunteer comes or helps the family take it because they're they're at, at, strong advocates for this. So, 
ucidere prescrisă de medic, în sensul că medicul îi prescrie pacientului ca nevoie să fie Deci este un voluntar care vine și face să îi administreze.